everybody, I'm Mitch, and welcome to the Legendary Galaxy. Today, I'm going to try and make a stained glass window from Battlefront 2. No, I have never made a stained glass window before, and we're going to see how this goes. So I started the project by taking a screen capture of the window and making it into an illustration in Adobe Illustrator. And then simplified it, numbered it, the whole thing. Then I printed it out, and it's a lot bigger than I thought after I printed it out. And uh, now I just have to cut it, all these pieces with these cool scissors. And these scissors right here have three blades. And so what it will do is cut out the line so the line's not there anymore. And it gives you room for foil and solder. Here we go, cut away. Time to try this out. This is the glass cutter here. And it is a little pizza wheel right here. And this fills with oil. And uh, it kind of scores the glass and then you break the glass. But first I glue it with a, just an Elmer's glue stick and just stick it right to the glass. And then I can start to cut. So I put on these safety gloves and some safety glasses so I didn't get hurt. And then I made my first cut with this score. And I felt like I might have been pushing too hard or too light. It just felt really awkward altogether. So once you score the glass, use these pliers right here to crack the glass down your score. And there's a little line right here you line up on your score and that's supposed to break it. And then I just put it right on the glass and crack. And it didn't work very good. This is my first time and uh, obviously I didn't cut it correctly, score it correctly. Yeah. So this is the second time and uh, yeah, it worked. So I started to get a handle on how to score and break it. And this was my first successful piece. And these are kind of a smaller version. It has a flat side and a curved side. And you can pull and break, or you can kind of grind off little pieces that miscut. So these kind of pliers work especially good on smaller pieces that you just need to break out, like this curve. I just kind of pull down and out, and uh, another successful piece. So then I just started going for it. I scored pieces yellow, and with about 200 pieces, this took weeks of cutting little pieces here and there. And... Uh, each color of glass or kind of glass cut a little different, scored a little different, um, felt different, but uh, yeah, took quite a while to cut all these pieces. And here's uh, where I am so far, lots of pieces and then lots of pieces still to cut, but I made it through. And this is the grinder. I got this used off eBay. And you just put a little water, cold water in it and fill it up to the line. And then once you put the cold water in it, you put coolant. And uh, this is just grinder coolant. And I put four capfuls full in. And then you put a little sponge T that touches the grinder just to keep it wet all the time so you as you're grinding it keeps it cool and then I made this little Lego piece because it seemed to be splattering everywhere I was just trying to keep it from splattering I think some grinders have attachments but since I bought this used off eBay uh, I made a Lego piece and so I just ground and ground and ground just getting as close to the paper as I could 
and I felt like it was really working good. I used a little thicker paper so it stayed on even though it got wet. So continue just to grind out piece after piece. And again, this took weeks to do to grind every single piece. So after I was done grinding, I noticed the pieces of paper stayed on pretty well with the glue. So I ended up having to soak each one of them and wipe off the glue and then rinse them. And after I got it dry, I ended up writing the number that was on the piece of paper onto the piece of glass with a silver Sharpie. So that worked out pretty good. Then I could puzzle it all together. So this is a foiler and you put this copper foil in the spool. You can see it right here and you thread it here. Let's see if I can fit threads here and up through here. And that's where you have a sticky side that you attach to the glass. So the foiling was a little tricky and there's a large learning curve in my opinion, but I got a handle on it and I started copper foiling each piece. Again, it took weeks because I made such a large project, but you can see how I just kind of put it in the groove and went around each piece. So once each piece is done, I kind of had to push it with my fingers down on the sides and make sure it was good and even. So once I was pushed down, I burnished the sides and the edges of the whole thing just to make sure it was really well stuck down. So I couldn't cut glass pieces small enough for that symbol, so I tried to paint it with some stained glass paint and it looked so bad. It looked like a Sharpie marker, so I just kind of gave up on it and just left it as is. But here you can see my whole project, copper foiled, um, held down with some thumbtacks so the whole thing's together and won't move. So now that I've uh, coppered it all, I'm going to use this solder to solder it together. And it is 60% tin, 40% lead. And you solder about 700 degrees. So the soldering also had a pretty high learning curve, just getting the right solder, the right, I don't know. I couldn't quite figure out how it went down the easiest. I tried turning up the heat, turning down the heat, and uh, but I got a little better at it. Um, one of the things that helped a lot is just getting a wide flat tip. I ended up getting that later and you can see uh, it helped and I struggled a lot less and I was able to go over some of the pieces I didn't do as well with that flat tip also. So I ended up getting better at the soldering, but it was really hard at first, but I ended up getting better but this took a lot of time soldering all these pieces together. It was hours and hours and bending over it. I kind of got a crink in my neck. But all in all, since I'd never soldered before, it was really fun to learn and uh, figure it out. So that was cool. So here it is in my room, all finished. I really love how it turned out. Uh, I love how it glows into my Star Wars room and it really was worth the two months it took to complete it. So if you like what I'm up to, consider subscribing and join me next time on The Legendary Galaxy.